today we're going to take a really quick look at how to pass serial data from your Arduino board into a processing sketch to do whatever you want with it. We're going to add a super simple error checker that makes sure that all your serial data is read and that actual data has to be read before the serial data will do anything. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start an Arduino. And I am going to make a new sketch, bring that over going to save it and call it Arduino to processing. And since Arduino runs with the serial port embedded, we don't need to do any special code apart from initialize it. To do that, we use the serial command dot begin and then a number in here. <clears throat> what this number actually means is it's called the baud rate. If I open up the serial in reference, and then we look at begin. So set the data rate in bits per second baud for serial data transmission. So basically, the higher that number, the baud rate, the more bits it can transfer per second. The more bits you transfer, the more unstable it will get, depending on how quickly your PC can process the data because Arduino and things like processing are all limited in the amount of memory they can use and access. 9,600 uh, 9, is a good sort of stable, always available rate to use for transmitting data. So what this means is we have now initialized the serial port for data upload. We've told Arduino to get ready on the serial port because we're about to put data into it. Uh, capture data in Arduino. You can set your Arduino up however you want, whether it's a button giving you a value uh, of one or zero, or a dial that's gathering the value that's coming off that, a resistor, a, f uh, a photodiode, anything. There's loads of tutorials and loads of video out there for using Arduino boards and setup. This is a way for you to send that data somewhere else. So I'm just going to do int variable one is equal to int random 100. So whatever data you're using, I have, I have a, a variable being randomized every loop that is between 0 and 99. Simple. What I then want to do is serial dot... What I then want to do is put the data onto the serial port. Now, there's a few ways we can do this. If we were just error checking inside Arduino, we would normally do serial.print. People will also talk about serial.write. And depending on how you want to do it, there are a few different ways. As of Arduino 1.0 and onwards, serial.print and the entire serial port is called asynchronous, which basically means that things happen in different orders. So if I, for example, do serial.print, variable one, and then I upload that to my board. And I open the serial monitor. You'll see that this happens at a crazy fast rate. But with print, the serial monitor is being updated before the serial port. So what that means is Arduino calculates, then we call it rendering, or it renders the value, and then it transmits it. If you were to use something like serial.write, that would try and transmit the data, even if it wasn't updated. So you can run into uh, sort of duplicated variables or, or non-available variables, just to, depending on how you're using it. What we are going to do is use the println command, which stands for new print new line. Because the serial port adopts ASCII transmission, the serial library has been embedded in processing since processing 2 point onward and something. To add it, we need to go to processing, sketch, import library, and then serial. And at the top, you'll see that it will include something, it will include this line of code called processing.serial.star. Includes the serial object library. And all that's doing is it's telling processing to go to a bank of code stored inside its folders called serial. We also 
need to initialize that library. So I'm going to do serial, which references up here. My serial creates local serial object from serial library. And you will see I will, should get an error that, well, well, I won't get any error at all. But if I remove this line of code here, it'll tell me that serial does not exist. And that's because it doesn't know what serial command is without this library. I'm also going to create a few variables. I'm going to do a string called my string. And this is going to be equal to null. So we want that to be null when we load the patch. And this is going to be where the uh, variable to collect serial data. I'm also doing, going to do something called int uh, lf, or new line you could call it. It's equal to 10. And this is ASCII code for carriage return in serial. So we're going to use this, which is a 10, to validate whether we have finished receiving all the data on the serial port. And that'll make a bit more sense in a second. We're then going to do float my val. Float for storing converted uh, ASCII serial data. So all data coming across the serial port will be a string, but we are going to tell processing to turn it into a float for us, so we can use it as a number. In setup, we need to initialize our sketch. So I'm going to do size 200 by 400, so we now have a nice tall box. I'm going to do string. We are... We need to tell, as with Arduino, when you upload it and put it on a board, we need to tell processing which serial port to gather data off. Uh, link processing to serial port, correct one. As you can see from Arduino, if we go to tools and port, you can see that I just have a lot of generic serial information, but we can use Arduinos to our advantage. So I know that my board is on the one, two, three, four, fifth port. So I'm going to tell processing that string. My port is equal to my port is equal to serial dot list four. So serial dot list appears as an array. And arrays start at index zero. So I know that my serial port or my board is connected on the fifth. So I need to go to the one, two, three, four, five, fifth port. Hence why this is four and not a five. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to initialize my serial port. So I'm going to do my serial is equal to new serial. This referencing the sketch, my port which port of the data is coming in on, and then the baud rate, and match that to the baud rate on the serial dot, uh, the serial in Arduino. Otherwise, you'll just get really gargled information because you'll get different bits at a time. A way to visualize this is if you open the serial monitor, monitor and change the baud rate, you'll start getting all these question marks. And those are just purely bits of data that don't make any sense to the computer because it's receiving parts of packets rather than the whole thing. So important that these numbers match the 9600 9, and the 9600. So now, as if we started processing, it would create a two by 400 panel, start our serial port, looking at the one that the board is connected to, and that would be it. Or now we need to gather the data and then do something with it. So in draw, First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check that there's information on the serial port for me to take. So I'm going to do while serial or uh, my serial dot available. 
is greater than zero, do something. So this is saying that go into this piece of code while there is available information on the serial port. Otherwise, move on with the rest of the program. Then I'm going to strip everything off the serial port until I see that line return or that carriage return code. So I'm going to do my string is equal to my serial dot read string until uh, nl. So it'd be 116, 32, 31, 32. So that would be a letter, a letter, a space. And it's going to keep reading that until it sees 10, which it knows is a new line. And the second it receives 10, it's going to then bundle that data and make it accessible for us. The important thing to note, it, note is this is going to strip that data of the port, as in once processing has taken it, it will no longer exist anywhere else. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check to make sure that's valid. So if my string does not equal null, so if it's been able to capture data before it's reached the end of the line, do something. Data was on the serial port. Background, I'm going to refresh the background. And then I'm going to do my val is equal to float of my string takes data from serial and turns it into numbers. So we know that because we're in this part of the code, we know that the serial port exists and we know that the serial port contained data. Because I'm only sending numbers, I'm going to take whatever data was there and turn it into a number. So now if I was to print that, print my val play. Oh, one second, let me put that on a new line. And then I'll bring the sketch window over. So you see I have a 200 by 400 box that does nothing. But then I'm printing all these amazing values down here. And this is where you could I could leave the tutorial, but I'm quickly going to draw something with that value to show you how quickly it is to go from nothing to sending values from Arduino into processing and into your sketches. So instead of printing it, I'm going to do my val is equal to my val divided by 100, which is the maximum value it can receive. I'm going to times that by the height. So now I, my val will be scaled between 0 and 400. I'm then going to rec mode center rectangle. I'm going to draw a rectangle in the dead center of the screen. That is the at the bottom of the screen. So I need to do the height. And because I'm doing rec mode center, I need to take away my, my val divided by two so that it adjusts so it's always on the bottom line. I'm going to make it 100 pixels wide, and I'm going to make it my value tall. So now, all things going smoothly, I'm going to command T, control T to auto format my processing sketch. I'm going to play it. And then you'll see that this will scale between the bottom and the top of the sketch window depending entirely on what value is coming to the serial port. And that is a really quick tutorial on how to go from the to go from data in Arduino through the serial port into processing to do whatever you want.